So we've been getting a lot of questions about how to install the wild hair ATV implement system on four wheelers. So I thought I'd maybe walk around it and give you a little bit of an idea of how it all attaches. The first thing you'll notice is we have a, a plate that runs widthwise underneath the ATV. We also have sandwich plates that sandwich your footrest between the plate up on top and the plate that runs underneath the footrest. There's two holes that are drilled on each side and those are the only two holes that you'll drill in your entire machine. Those are, they, they're drilled through the footrest right in through that bottom plate and bolted on to hold it into place. I'm now looking underneath the ATV. This is the center mount cross plate. We provide three different length spacers so that you can lower or raise this center mount plate to clear the lowest part of your ATV. Next you'll notice that this cross member right here is attached with a U-bolt onto your front rack right here and another one right over here. We're now looking at the back of the ATV. This battery box comes with the wild hair system and there's also a template for drilling holes in the bottom of the battery box to attach to your rear rack. We also supply a couple zip ties to tie that down. Moving around to the side, uh, this is the pump, and the pump uh, has a plate on here, a perforated plate, that also, with a couple of U-bolts, one U-bolt right here and another U-bolt right over here, uh, attaches to the rack on the rear system. Starting at the rear by the pump, we route the hydraulic lines and also the electric lines alongside the seat up to the front. The electric switch is mounted on the handlebar right here, with a couple of zip ties and the hydraulic hoses uh, run up to the manifold up in the front. We provide colored zip ties so you can uh, match up the red to the red and the green to the green. It's a very simple system when you get it. The switch on the handlebars controls the lift and the lowering of the arms and it also controls the tilt up and back of the blade, the bucket, or the pallet forks. This portion of the, of the loader are, is called the feet and the feet attach to the legs. We supply a series of holes along here that the bolts go through that allow you to adjust the height of the, of the loader to fit on the rack, that cross member of the rack. So the only other thing you really need to know is how to attach your implements onto the loader arms. There's three pins provided. There's a pin right here, a pin that attaches onto the hydraulic cylinder in the center, and there's a pin on the other side. You pull those pins, this assembly will move out, and you can bring in either your loader bucket or your pallet forks and attach it right on. It takes uh, maybe a minute to two minutes to attach that and to switch out implements. As you can see, it's extremely robust. Most people when they remove the loader just remove the two bolts here where the feet attach to the cross plate and leave that permanently mounted. But it's easy enough just to remove the two bolts on this side and the two bolts on the other side and the foot rest where that mount to the cross plate and the cross plate drops right off. The three point hitch is mounted in two spots for maximum rigidity. There's a frame that goes around the perimeter of the base for the pump and then also it mounts through your hitch on the bottom down here. We provide an additional hitch so you can continue to use other uh, trailers and things like that um, after you have your system mounted. The upper frame is attached with four U-bolts. There's a U-bolt here, a U-bolt here, a U-bolt here and a U-bolt here, and those bolt through the rack. After that, the hydraulic hoses themselves that come with the three-point just connect right into the auxiliary hydraulics with quick connect couplings. As you can imagine, the height difference between the top of the rack and the hitch isn't the same on all the units. So we provide a hole pattern for adjusting that height. By rotating these two handles on the butterfly valves, we change the hydraulic fluid from the front of the machine to power the three-point hitch in the rear. The implements on the three-point hitch attach similar to the implements in the front. 
There's a pin on the left side, a pin in the center link, and a pin on the right side. Again, takes a minute or two minutes to switch out and implement. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Wild Hair ATV Implement System. If you have any additional questions, please give us a call at 218-483-1000. Thanks.